Mao Zedong and his chief lieutenant wound up the Chinese Communist Party Congress today with the election of a new enlarged central committee dominated by the army. This film, recorded in Hong Kong from Chinese Communist television, shows the Congress in plenary session in Peking. 1,500 hand-picked delegates rubber-stamped the decisions of the Maoist party leadership. Defense Minister Lin Biao, who made the main political report, was named Mao's heir apparent by what Peking says was a unanimous vote. But Mao, now 75 and reportedly in failing health, shows no sign of wanting to step down. He spoke with unusual vigor, admonishing the delegates in fatherly Confucian style and occasionally ticking off points on his fingers. But the Chinese telecast didn't carry his voice. Mao's reported to have told the Congress that his great purge must go on and that Soviet-style communism is now as much an enemy for China as American imperialism. The reaction of the delegates was predictably enthusiastic. Mao completed his speech sitting down, still gesturing forcefully. Despite the show of unity, the Congress lasted 24 days, which is a record. The final communique indicated there was bitter wrangling behind the scenes. It's the first time in history that a ruling Communist Party has held a major Congress without inviting a single foreign observer. Not even the loyal Albanians have come to Peking this time. It reflects Mao's deepening distrust of foreigners, his penchant for secrecy, and China's continuing isolation in the world. What should have been Mao's finest hour, 20 years after he seized power in China, has turned out to be a lackluster, rigged performance. This is Wells Hangen, NBC News, Hong Kong.